Hey there, Chief. Uh, plumbing service here for an Emilio Chinsy? I'm sorry. I don't have you on our schedule. Eh, I'm pretty sure our service department set up an appointment. Uh, by the way, did you know uh, Mr. Chunsi's camera is broken out here? We really should get it fixed. It's Mr. Chunsi. Oh, good. So you found it. No, uh, his name is Mr. Chauncey. Yeah, I know his name. I also know his toilet needs me. I'm sorry. There is no appointment on record, and he's not here at this time. You will have to reschedule. Uh, Wolfstein, Humperdinck, and Van Cloud Associates. I have a delivery of slightly delicate materials. Mr. Chauncey is not expecting his delivery of rare action figures until next week. <laughs> of course. Uh, my apologies for the surprise visit, but... We came into possession of an item we believe Mr. Chauncey would like for his special collection. Hmm. Uh, please hold it up to the camera. Wait. Hmm. It was just working earlier. Uh, can you please be more specific on the nature of the item? It's uh, the Ito Shumai Masterpiece Collection. Every piece the Grandmaster ever directed from his early standards to his later experimentations. That? Oh, Mr. Chauncey already has a copy. Uh, I'd say new series. Thank you for your time. We'll see you at the appointed time next week. Isn't this improper to share over an open communication channel? Oh, yes, of course. Um, naturally. But I can't just let you in at the moment. We're having a bit of a meeting up here. Understandable, but perhaps if Mr. Chauncey were to understand the delicacy of the situation. How so? You see, the delivery is really a ray gun, huh? What type of replica is that ray gun? No, no, no. It's it's an actual ray gun. Uh, a gun that shoots rays. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Mr. Chauncey does not have time for pranksters selling silly toys that... Oh, what I mean is, uh, please go right in, sir. Target's coming. <laughs> Try not to blow my face off. Oh, ray blast bounce right off your tough shell, don't they? I don't think you know me. Please, I can read you like big block letters. You're arrogant. You don't know. Yeah, 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 you try to hide your accent, you're insecure of the throat you put in those vowels, born in Russia or the Ukraine, grew up in the States in a tough neighborhood, uh, say, Queens? Had to escape, join the military. No, the police, yeah. Yeah, but you still couldn't shake your past. And that's why when you got the chance to join the MIB, you did. Maybe you could finally outrun the old country. Your mom and dad, your seven sisters, your boyfriend, the crook who got shot on the streets at the age of 18. That's why you're so guarded. You think letting anyone in makes you weak. Come on, tell me I'm wrong. You are. It was Brooklyn, Brighton Beach. Target neutralized. Protect the ugly one! It, whatever. Take cover. Target 
Find cover! Oh! <laughs> 
Whatever. You want a medal? <laughs> Ladies first. We're inside an Adorian ship. It must have been trapped in a phase point. Yeah, no clue what that means, but I can almost read these. They're very similar to ancient Egyptian and... Sumerian, I think? See, in case of emergency, walk, do not run to the nearest escape pod. Weird. How did Chauncey finagle this? He didn't. He probably just found the ship. And then used it to contact the Adorians who told him about the book. Right, let's take him. No, we're going in quiet. Meet me on the opposite side. It sure is convenient that these aliens like their ships so dark. Quiet. For an advanced space traveling race, I was expecting a bit more security. For an art thief, I was expecting a bit more quiet. Come out, come out, slowly. Look at all this open space here. Imagine the heating bill. Woof.
You know, for an advanced space traveling race, I was expecting a bit more security. For an art thief, I was expecting a bit more quiet. Look at all this open space here. Uh, imagine the heating bill. Woof. You know, for an advanced space traveling race, I was expecting a bit more security. For an art thief, I was expecting a bit more quiet. You know, for an advanced space traveling race, I was expecting a bit more security. For an art thief, I was expecting a bit more quiet. Look at all this open space here. Imagine the heating bill. Woof. Access the central mainframe. On it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now I'm on it. 3,000 years ago, the Adorians and the Cadans were on the brink of a civil war, but the crown prince of Adoria, Nemu, and the daughter of the Nakadan prime minister, Nethera, fell in love. They planned to unite their lands by marrying at a neutral site, Earth. Instead, spies sabotage their ships, phasing them into null space, where they've remained ever since, stuck just outside of normal space-time. No wedding meant no peace treaty, and the two sides have been fighting ever since. Wait, this translation sounds interesting. It says the book can reactivate the crew, and the ship. That looks bad. The book can unlock the immense power of this warship, winning the wealth of two planets for whoever activates it. Who would tip the scales of the war? And conquer Earth in the process. Huh? I'm so happy you found me, Peter. Two birds and all that. One loose end tied up. And the future Mrs. Chauncey. <laughs> Good luck with that. Ah, but you see, Adorian technology isn't just about weaponry. Their social coding was the foundation for Sia. It's been subtly reprogramming people for years now, hasn't it? Subliminally making mankind more accepting of a dictatorial overlord. I'll help win the war for Adoria, and when I come back to Earth, I will be worshipped as a god. Nemu Otam. Read it, Peter. Be ready. Mamo Nemu Ra Tom Tana. Where is Nethera? Rada Ramagono Lafranda! What's it saying? Just run! We're just coming! Got him! Or it, whatever.
Been down. You take the ugly one. Recharging. Whatever happened to Chauncey, it didn't work. The ship registered him as an unlawful entry and armed its self-destruct sequence so it wouldn't fall into enemy hands.
Islam, Zah, go to Mana Kala. Over more, over more. What? This is a myth. What now? It's telling its crew to relocate to a Nakadan ship, which has been reactivated. What? Where? How? It must be some safety feature. One ship goes down, get to another. But it's Nakadan? I don't know. I'm new here, remember?
We need immediate extraction. There's no time to waste. The second ship is armed. If the self destructed all this, there's no telling what kind of damage a fully armed vessel. Very good. What? And that one statue in his office did mention Nethera. You think he was holding out on us? I bet my worthless degree on it. <laughs> 